Yo, what's up guys? It's Hammy here. Welcome back to the channel. And today, we're going to be going over some of the guns that you should probably stay away from in Hardcore. Now, the subject of Hardcore, it's not a very talked about subject on YouTube amongst the upper tier content creators. So, I'm going to try to review some of these guns outside of Core and in Hardcore. Now, today's video is going to be a little different. There's not going to be gameplay rolling. But we're just going to sit here in the menus and go over the guns that I think you should probably stay away from in Hardcore. Now, most people think about Hardcore as being easier and that every gun is viable. Every gun is good in Hardcore because the time to kill is much shorter. But there still is a difference between every gun. Now, there's a, a Core meta and a Hardcore meta. The guns that are good in core are not necessarily also good in hardcore. So there's a difference between the guns that you should use and shouldn't use. So today we're going to get that topic covered for you. I'll top right into it. Now we're just going to set here in the menus and we're going to go through each, not every one of the guns, but the guns that I'm not a big fan of. So let's start off with the rifles here. Now the M1 Grand is a, it's a controversial gun in the recent tweets amongst some people some of the pros say this gun should be banned or nerfed but it, it's, a, it's a decent gun in core i'll give them that but in hardcore i'd probably stay away from this gun for there there's many reasons why let's uh it's first off it's clip it only has a eight round magazine uh i mean it's not it, it is a clip it's a it's a clip and uh so that's in comparison to the M1 Carbine. Both are always a one-hit kill. And this has a 15-round clip with no recoil. And this has a 8-round clip with substantial recoil. And that's on to the next step. This gun's recoil with its small magazine size is just... It's, it's small. I mean, it's the recoil is bad. The clip is small. Two bad attributes for hardcore so i'd probably stay away from this gun and even with extended mags on this gun it still has a smaller than normal clip so i probably wouldn't use this gun it's hit detection's a little wonky and it's aim assist seems to be lower than most guns so i'd stay away from this gun uh next on the list on hardcore would be the bar now this gun is just amazing in core just a great gun but in hardcore not the best. Again, it has a low magazine and a decent amount of recoil. And its hit detection seems to be a little off, so I'd probably steer clear of this gun in hardcore. There's much better options for you. Now that's a that's a hard thing to believe because this gun is so good in core and so highly used. So your normal person that thinks every gun's good in core, that's a sweat that comes over from hardcore, or comes over from core to hardcore, would just think, well, I'm going to use the BAR because it's a high damage gun. You know, it's a great gun in core. I'm just going to use it in hardcore. But no, this gun has a really low range stat. So it's one hit kill range is just bad. It is almost always a two shot kill range. So I would just, just don't use the BAR. Much better options. Like let's say the FG42. It's always a one hit kill. The M1 Carbine is always a one hit kill. And this is usually a medium... Close medium range one shot kill, but it just get outshot by so many different guns in the game, so I probably wouldn't use it. Now moving on over to our next gun here, also in the rifle category, the SVT-40. Now to cover the topic of what makes a gun good in hardcore, is its main attribute, what makes a gun good, is its one shot kill range. Now a gun needs to have a good one shot kill range, meaning as far as you can possibly get, make will make the gun good so if the guns like say the svt 40 fg 42 m1 carbine they're always one hit kills like it, it'll always be a one hit kill unless you get penetration kills or penetration damage but if you can see the person with a clear shot it's going to always be a one hit kill now all that aside this is always a one hit kill but it has the same problems as the m1 grand this gun's recoils is just bad it has terrible iron sights i don't i could see a hard time seeing anyone enjoying the iron sights in this gun so it forces you to use a red dot attachment which takes up an attachment slot and just the high recoil just just stay away from this gun 
Again, the M1 carbine is a much better option. Same type of gun, larger magazine, no recoil, same damage. Just stay away from it. Uh, moving on to the next gun again. Now this gun doesn't have a one-shot kill issue. It's got a smaller magazine, but it has a fast rate of fire, like the M1 carbine. Actually, a faster rate of fire. But for some reason, this gun is not a one-shot kill at any range in hardcore. So you have a slower rate of fire weapon, which you have to pull the trigger manually each time. It's not automatic. So which takes a little, a little bit more of a higher skill gap to use in a fully automatic gun. But then you have to get two shots to kill, so you're going to get outshot by a lot of different guns. So basically to say it's the same time to kill, or it's the same amount of shots to kill as a submachine gun at range. But with a really slow rate of fire. But if you do want to use this gun, uh, you can put on advanced rifling and it will always be a one-shot kill. So you can, you know, be forced to use an attachment slot with this gun, but it will be a one-shot kill. But if you use... The advanced rifling, it's not a bad gun. It has a lower aim assist than most guns, so it's a little harder to use. But it's viable if you do want to use it. But still, I probably wouldn't use it. There's other guns that are better. Now moving on over to submachine guns. This is going to be another shocker for a lot of core players. But the PPSH, the king of World War II, the utter king of mon among sweats, the PPSH-41 is no good in hardcore. It has a good rate of fire, but its one-shot kill range is subpar, and it's just it has a decent amount of upward recoil, and it seems to have really bad hit detection and hard to hard to land your two shots in hardcore. So again, another king of World War II that I probably wouldn't touch in hardcore. Uh, again, we're gonna run through these last few pretty quick here. The WAF is probably self-explanatory. Uh, it's one shot kill range is very weak and it has a really high recoil which makes it really hard to land those two shots that you need to land as quickly and as efficiently as possible. So again the WAF, not a great gun to use. Now I realize some of these guns that I'm saying aren't good. Uh, you might want to use them in hardcore to get your headshots with. Uh, that's understandable but I'm not talking about if it's easy to get headshots with or not or if you per se, say you own one, some of these guns in real life or you just like them because of, uh, of nostalgia or you're a, a gun buff. I understand that, but like some guns, like I love the Lee Enfield, the sniper in real life, but in this game it's not the greatest. But I still might use it over other ones because of that. I understand that, but I'm just going by sheer stats and what's going to be the best for you. And on to the M1928, or the Thompson submachine gun. This again has the same problem as the WAF. It has a really poor one-shot kill range, a very high recoil, a high fire rate. So you're just not going to be able to land your shots very efficiently. You're going to get outshot by the Type 100 and the Grease gun, 100 to 1. I just, I probably wouldn't use it. Not a great gun. Uh, the MP40 has is basically a clone of the PPSH in this game. And just with a little more unpredictable recoil. Uh, again, this gun, its recoil is too unpredictable to use in hardcore. And since the most recent buff has a higher rate of fire now. So, again, too inconsistent for hardcore for me. Uh, it does have a pretty mediocre a one-shot kill range. But it's just, it's just too hard to use. Uh, the new Sten, it's on the borderline for me. It, you can use it, or you can't. It's kind of inconsistent to me. It's very similar to the Type 100, which is one of the best hardcore guns in the game. It's it's very similar to it, but it just it just doesn't seem as consistent as the Type 100. So you can use it. It's on the borderline. It's it's a a very meh, a very decent, like, you know, not good, but not great, very middle of the pack gun. Now, on over to the light machine guns. Uh the light machine guns are very good in hardcore. Some of them are very good in hardcore. Uh, they're always a one-shot kill and have very large magazines to them, or large belt-fed reserves. And so, but some of them are much better than others. Let's say the Lewis gun here, which is probably by far the king of core in LMGs. One of the better camping core guns. But this gun's slower rate of fire and slow draw time make it a, not, a, not a good choice for hardcore. It's just, it's... 
The rate of fire is too slow. The recoil is good. Easy to hit shots with, but since all these guns are one-shot kills, there's much better options. Now the Bryn, uh, again a decent core gun, a decent camping long range core gun. But if you've ever used this gun, you know it's ADS time, it's aim down sight time, it is atrocious. This thing is, feels like you're pulling up an anvil or 200 pound lead brick. This thing comes up from your hip so slow. And this gun, it's not just it's ADS time that's slow. Everything about this gun is slow. It's movement speed, it's fire rate, it's reload. Everything is not good about this gun. Uh, I mean, it's it's all right in core, but all those attributes are the worst things you want for hardcore. So I would not even get close to using this gun in hardcore. It's probably one of the lower tier hardcore guns for sure. So don't even come close to think about using this gun in core. Now moving on over to the sniper rifle category. Um, let's start off with the M1903, the Springfield, and the Car 98. We'll combine them into both. So the bolt action snipers in this game, or not just this game, any game, they're usually a one-shot kill anyway in core. And most, like let's say the M1 Grand, the M1 Carbine, the FG-42, the SVT-40 are all one-shot kills. The LMGs are all one-shot kills. So why would you want to use a gun that takes a high skill gap, has no aim assist, and a super low rate of fire that's also a one-shot kill in core? There's no real reason to use it. It's complete overkill, and it's just you're basically nerfing your own skills. You're putting a handicap on yourself using these in core or hardcore. No reason to use them at all. Uh, the only one, if you really want to use a bolt action sniper in hardcore, if you really want to, the Lee Enfield may be your best option. Say you're having some problems getting your one shot kills for challenges in core, you could possibly use the Lee Enfield for your uh, one shot kills if you're having problems because this gun's a, a hit marker machine sometimes in core. So if you're having a problem with that, you might want to use the Enfield. But just the Carabin is. I mean, it's a two-shot kill in core, but a one-shot kill in hardcore. So if you want to use a sniper, this is the only one to use. I wouldn't even touch these at all. To me, it seems self-explanatory, but sometimes I see people sniping in hardcore, and I just think, man, what are you doing? There's no reason to use that. It's complete overkill, dude. You're just hurting yourself. So yeah, don't touch these three at all. Maybe the lean field if you're having problems getting your one-shot kills in core. But like I was saying earlier, the Lee Enfield's probably one of my favorite World War II era um, rifles of all time. It was a great rifle in real life. Probably, in my opinion, the best bolt action rifle. I think it beats out the Car 98 or the Mauser. But I love this gun in real life, so I, I will use it time here and there again in the game, even though it's a bad game or a bad gun in the game. So that's just what I was talking about on that. Now, shotguns and hardcore. Uh, I don't even want to say this, bro, but these guns are severely broken hardcore. I don't even want to talk about them. They're so good. I don't I don't even want to talk about them because I'm afraid of making a video about this. Maybe since it's so far in the end of the video, people won't watch this long, but... The shotguns are always a one-shot kill in hardcore. You hit them with one pellet, it's a one-hit kill. So as far as a shotgun will shoot, you will get a one-hit kill. It takes no skill. It's very obnoxious. Please don't use these in hardcore. As it completely ruins everyone else's experience. But all of these guns are very viable in hardcore. They're not the best. But you will not do bad with them. So that's just the shotgun. So let's just move on from that. <laughs> move on. Now on to your secondary weapons. The only one we really need to talk about here is the machine pistol. Uh, since the most recent update... Uh, there was a nerf to this gun that pretty substantially changed its damage model to where it was much closer ranged gun. So now this gun is basically always going to be a two shot kill. This is a good time for us to go more in depth on the one shot to two shot kill uh, variations and why you want that one shot kill, why it's so important. So say you're using, using this gun and you always have to hit someone twice with it. 
uh, and someone else is using something like a, I don't know, an MG-15, camping with the MG-15, you have to land two shots to kill him, okay? He only has to hit you once. So there is a so much variables that can go on there. You can shoot your shots, and you can hit your first shot, because it's always the most accurate, but then you have to land another one after that. So say you, you may not hit the next three shots if you're having problems aiming with the gun. But he can then, it gives him time to land his only one shot that he needs. So it just gives him an opportunity to shoot you. That All, all it does is using a gun like this that takes a two shot kill. Basically just gives the other person a chance to kill you. That's all the one shot to two shot kill range does. So I hope that clears up why I always say you want that one-shot kill range so much. It's so it's such an important thing in hardcore. But as that being said, like the pistols in hardcore, you just you have to use these two. It's just they're always one-shot kills every time. And like the PO8 has like a 12 or 15 round magazine with extended mags. It has like no recoil at all. It's always a one-hit kill. It's like almost all the way across the map, I think. I know the 1911 is, but Pretty sure this one also is. At least at really far ranges it is. I'm sure it may be a two-shot two shot kill at some ranges, but it just, these two completely outclass this one so much. It, there's no reason, unless you're going for headshots. I know back when I was going for headshots with this gun, it was a one-shot kill to the head with high caliber. Uh, I don't know if it still is with the damage update. I haven't tested it, but if you if you need headshots with pistols, a pro tip is to play hardcore. It helps out a lot, especially with this one. But, I mean, that being said, it's just, it's it's a must use this over these, 100%. Now on over to your melee weapons. Again, this seems almost as self-explanatory as the sniper rifles. The melee weapons are always a one-hit kill in core and require you to close, close a large gap between you and the enemies. So, in hardcore, you're almost always a one hit kill up close so trying to close a gap on someone when you're always one hit is nearly impossible where in core you have a chance to get hit a few times and then close the gap and then hit them and recover your health and do it again so just this is just self-explanatory don't use any of these in hardcore <laughs> you're just gonna hurt yourself just use them in core 100 percent so that's all the guns that i personally do not prefer in hardcore and i think if you Try the other guns that I didn't recommend that you may have a better time getting more kills in hardcore if you're having a problem and you think, man, why is this gun I use in core not very good? Uh, I mean, I think it may help you out a little bit. Or if you're one of those people that think, man, you play hardcore just because it's easier. Or, hey, every gun's good in hardcore. Why are you making hardcore gun reviews? Uh, so I hope that clears up the topic on that. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was probably a shorter video than normal. But it's just, I wanted to get this out of the way, so maybe you can get people, you know, help out as much as you possibly can with Hardcore if they're having problems. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. We will probably have more videos coming out in the future. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. This is Hand Me Out.